This is a briefing for shot 190, uh, death hip swing. Um, essentially, you've got a foreground, background layout again. And the idea is that death is walking around the chairs to get to her chair at the back. But in order to get there, she has to walk around behind Cupid's chair. And so really, we're just kind of looking for a sort of, a, you know, a sexy saunter. Um, she's not walking directly towards Cupid, but she is walking close enough that it's almost like she's walking towards him. And so he's anticipating her arrival to some degree. He knows she's going to walk behind him, but he's going to take advantage of this opportunity, basically. So, and she doesn't mind playing it up a little bit because she knows a lot of her power comes from her sexuality. So you're just looking for a kind of a sexy, empowering walk at this point that shows off how proud she is. Now, in the meantime, Cupid, previous to this shot, had kind of he'd gone through the actions of threatening to shoot the weapon at Devil, and he's blown the top off. And he's going to go, yes, and he's leering at her. And this is the worst leer he does in the film, okay? Pretty much. And um, essentially, he's, he's kind of really interested in her. And at this point, I would argue that he doesn't even have to be sat down because I think he starts out the shot, kind of stood up and like this kind of thing, you know? And so as she walks towards him, he might settle into his chair, but I think more likely he would just kind of be floating around the chair or striking whichever pose um, feels more natural because he's like, hey, yeah, mm, yeah, you know, if he was, uh, if he was a, a lad hanging out at the pub or something like that, he'd be about to wolf whistle her or something. But better than that, she's walking close enough that he can get his hands on her. So he's actually sort of eyeing up her butt as she approaches. And you've got to get that. It's really important to sell the idea that he's thinking about doing something to her butt. OK, so that when he actually does in another shot, um, we know it's coming. Uh, that's pretty much it, really. Um, I would I would use his wand as a prop. Don't be afraid to work with it. You know, maybe he's thinking like this or something like that. Maybe if he does use the chair, lean on it, perhaps. You know, he she remember she can see him doing this, and he kind of knows it. So he's going to be trying to look good for her. You know. If he had any muscles, he'd be doing this at this point, but he doesn't, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay, that's, that's the basics of that shot.